First question to you, obvious question. Uh, it's the biggest stage on the world. Um, obviously, there's a lot of preparation leading up to the big game. Film preparation, schemes, learning, practice, all that other stuff. But how do you guys relax in your downtime and what limited downtime do you get up to the Super Bowl? Um, you know, we, you just try and treat it like a normal week. And I think we do a good, good job of trying to stay on like a pretty normal week schedule. You know, we flew in yesterday. Today would usually be like day after game type thing. Um, so we'd be pretty busy. And then tomorrow's our off day. And then kind of Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, they're going to be pretty normal Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. So you kind of know how to deal with all that. Um, so it's not really your, your schedule hasn't really changed that much. Um, but yeah, so it's, it's just kind of stay on a, a normal type schedule. Now, you're one of many 916 products on the San Francisco 49ers. What does that just say about the talent that we have in the Sacramento area um, and in that region? Yeah. No, it's a very talented football, for sure. I remember when I was playing there, it was just, it was just so much, there's so much good skill. Um, and then you always hear guys going, coming from Sacramento. And like you said, we got a bunch of guys on this team. So that's just a testament to it, for sure. Do you have any favorite memories of playing um, in Sacramento or Oak Ridge? Excuse me. I'd say um, I'd say my senior year, just just getting to go as far as we did. We went uh, we played at Sac State in the section championship. We played uh, Granite Bay. We ended up losing, but it was still it was still fun. We we won a lot of games in that playoffs leading up. So that's probably my best memory. I love that. Now you know, obviously, there's a lot of people, Ross, who look up to you, not just um, from the 916, but throughout the whole nation. What kind of words of advice or wisdom would you give to anyone who wants to be the next Ross Dwelly or just any kind of professional athlete? I'd say that the path, the path to being a professional athlete is not a linear path. I'd say it's very, you know, like it can go very windy sometimes. Um, so just kind of stick to what you're doing and just sort of trust in yourself and Really, you got to be your biggest fan. I'm looking at these blue men right here. These guys are creeping me out. Yeah, you know, they actually <laughs> took my mic earlier, and they were doing something with my microphone. Oh, my yeah, gosh. Dude, this is uh, quite Yeah, see? I was in a deep, like, thought, and then I see these guys, and it just lost all train of thought. Exactly. What's up, man? Very, very, well, now you're cornered by them. <laughs> yeah, I know. you got quite a bit of them right here. Do you think you could take both of them on a football field if they were trying to, you know, block you off the line? Definitely. Seriously? Yeah, definitely could take you guys, for sure. Now let me ask you this. There's typically three of them. Obviously, you're. Oh, here comes the other one right here, and he oh looks like gosh. he's getting ready. Oh yeah. You are cornered by blue men I right am, now. I am. I mean, I'm to stay cool. What's more intimidating, having these guys around you or a defensive line of the Chiefs? Uh, it's pretty damn close. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> They're really invading your space. Right yeah, now, they so, are. You know, I, I guess with that. Be oh, okay. Please, oh, okay. Please, okay. Please, okay. Please yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you have a question to ask? No, he doesn't. He's not asking any questions, okay, I don't think. my job right now. Okay, Absolutely. Oh, you're giving it back to me now. Okay, perfect, perfect. Well, yeah, I, I, that was great getting video yeah, yeah, yeah. bombed by the Blue Man. <laughs> good to and meet you guys. Good, good to meet good you guys. Meet you. Yeah, appreciate it. Anyway, you were giving a really good answer yeah, yeah. on advice you would give to people. Oh, that yeah, yeah. But that was a heck of a distraction oh, yeah. there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that was, was funny. That was funny. That was, that was hilarious. You cannot uh, ask for Can't something. Can't script that now. Yeah, clearly. But, uh... Yeah, what was I talking about? Le not a linear path. Yeah. But, yeah, just it's, it's not a linear path. It's super windy. Uh, at one point, I thought I was going to be a baseball player. I didn't play football my junior year. Uh, and then came back because I missed it really bad and kind of did well. Went to USD, kind of smaller school. Like, it's just you don't got to go to a big school. You know, it's a great path if you choose to do that. But, like, you, there's also paths through smaller schools for sure. And just be your biggest fan, I'd say. I love that. Now, my last question for you. Like I said, you inspired a lot of people. You said be your biggest fan. Yep. When you were growing up, who, who who were you the biggest fan of or who was your biggest inspiration? Um, I'd say in a football sense, I definitely was my, one of my like favorite players was Gronk. I think Gronk was just like, I mean, he was just the best tight end doing it at that time. Like he was just, he was just the guy. Like he was just, guys would just bounce off him. He'd be making unreal catches. Like. And he was just like having fun doing it. Like you can't beat that. So yeah, I definitely say Gronk was like my biggest. I was the biggest fan of Gronk for sure. You like his touchdown spike or any of his dances or anything that he does? Yeah, I mean, I, I'll take it all. I, I think he was just a cool guy. He was just being himself too. He wasn't trying to like you know be someone else. He was just being himself and just doing his thing and just be a really good football player.